Hi, it's Miss Lisa with the St. Paris Public Library. Welcome to our first STEM activity for the summer. We actually are going to be doing um, a STEM activity today that we're going to use later on in the summer as we um, go on. We're going to do a, another project that we're going to use this project for, but it takes a couple weeks for this project to be finished. So I went for a walk this morning um, before it got too hot and on my walk I picked some flowers. Later on in this summer, in probably about three or four weeks, we're going to be making um, a summer lantern, an outdoor um, transparent lantern that you um, put pressed flowers onto the outside of it so the light shines through it and you can see the flowers. But first we have to press the flowers. So I picked some different things. This is kind of like a wheat that because I live out in the country. So I took a walk um, down the road and um, my morning walk that I take and I picked some of these leftover pieces of wheat. This doesn't really need to um, be pressed, but it does need to dry out a little bit because some of it is still green. So I'm going to let it sit out to dry out. But these flowers need to be pressed. Most of them are yellow but some of them are purple. Most of my purple flowers are, are, are gone now. So you want to look for a flower that can be flattened out. So like these little violets, they can be flattened out. I found some really pretty little yellow flowers. They're like a buttercup looking kind of flower. So in order to press the flowers, you're going to need some paper towels and some wax paper. You can use saran wrap too or parchment paper. What this is for is to protect your books, okay? Because we're gonna press them in between some book, a stack of books. I do not have a flower press, but some people have something called a flower press. And it basically, you crank the top of it and it presses the flowers together really tightly. But I don't have one of those, so I'm gonna use books. Never, 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 never put flowers in between the pages of your book. The flowers will leach out. They, when you press them, they'll let the dye or the color of the flowers will go out and it will ruin your books. So please don't, don't press your flowers in between the pages of the book. You can press them in between the books. And you're gonna use a piece of wax paper. You're gonna put it on the book to protect the book that you're gonna start off on the bottom pressing, okay? because you don't want to ruin the cover of the book either. So you're gonna to wanna to do that. Turn this over. All right, there we go. And then you're gonna to wanna to put a layer of paper towel. What the paper towel do, will do is will absorb the moisture as the flower is pressed out. So um, then just take some of your flowers these were all on a big stem. Now you're not going to be able to press this big fat green stem. I just want to press the flowers off. So I'm going to pop off the flower heads. And there's still a little stem on it. So I'm going to pinch that off like that. And then I'm just going to lay it out on there like this. I'm going to flatten it out a little bit with my finger very gently because you don't want to really bust it up very much. And then just do that with several more. Once you get however many you want on there, you can put quite a few on there. You don't want them touching because if they're touching, they will um, stick together when they start to dry. So once you get some on there, you can put quite a few on one thing. You don't have to spread them out on the thing. You don't have to just put a couple on here and then put another layer like that, okay? So then you're gonna take another paper towel, lay it over top of that, like that. Another piece of wax paper. I'm gonna go back and put some more flowers on here when I get done showing you what to do. Once you get it like that, then you start putting your other books on top. You want a lot of weight on there, like that. Now these are gonna to have to sit for probably at least two weeks before you touch them. Don't do anything to them for at least two weeks. After two weeks, carefully take the books off and, and take them apart and check on the flowers. If they, are, if they are not dried out enough, if they're still pretty wet or pretty moist, then um, you might need to let them set for another week 
So you're gonna wanna do this early in the summer so that when we get to the lantern project, I'll try to wait four weeks because I have to wait for my flowers to get ready too. But I have an extra week because I did mine, mine ahead. So I'll wait four weeks into the summer before I do the lantern project. And then um, that way hopefully your flowers will be dried out. So um, thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next week.